Southeast Texas Weekly, brought to you by the Modern Vein Surgery Institute at Privity Clinic for Surgical Care. Hello again and welcome back to Southeast Texas Weekly. I'm Kevin Steele, your humble host here to talk politics once again on our program. Great to have you with us. We really, really appreciate it. We know many of you are, uh, are, are very interested in the political world. We take a look at it from the vantage point of Southeast Texans. Raquel West, candidate for 252nd District Judge, to talk with us in just a few minutes. We have both of our panels. I say both. We have a whole lot of our folks. Nathan Buddy Reynolds here once again, Democratic activist. Jeff Lewis, Republican activist. Godfrey Leggett, Democratic activist. Good to see you guys. Nice to What's see the you. Latest? Are we doing all right this week? Great Going week. Good. Politics no treating you well. We'll talk race relations during this broadcast along with the latest on the Benghazi attack, Obamacare, and more. We begin with race relations. Godfrey Leggett, we've had a great deal of conversation this week. The Clive and Bundy scenario, the, the uh, Nevada rancher. Uh, who has been in trouble with the Bureau of Land Management, and then subsequently came forth with what arguably are the stupidest remarks about race anybody could ever possibly make. Uh, Probably not making, the stupidest, but pretty close. It, it's got to it's rank. right up there. It's got Some to Some of those same there. black guys that he was talking about are lawyers and attorneys, mm -hmm. and they're going to be coming after him, okay? So he's going to need to prepare himself. And then Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling made head headlines this week as well with his comments. I think most of the comments are, are out there in the public dialogue right now. Let's take a look at them from our vantage point in southeast Texas. The question that emerges is, does the fact that Sterling, for example, was so soundly repudiated in his comments and subsequently driven from the league, banned from the game, he's going to have to sell his team. Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean that race relations in this country have dramatically improved in the last few years? Nathan, we'll start with you. Uh, well, Godfrey, I think, whoever wants to go. I, I think they were improving. I, th I think this is a terrible setback for race relations. I think it's a setback. Yeah. I, I, I think the Sterling matter was a setback for race relations. What but, about two two decades ago? We might not have even seen it in the headlines, as you know, as opposed to driving him from the league. Well, it's, it seems uh, almost as if the society has has shifted a little bit. Godfrey, am I off base? Well, we we might be overly sensitive these days okay but the fa plain fact is is most of the people that play in the basketball arena are black uh -huh. and they were fixing to stop playing they were going to boycott you know? as so well so they, they had a little pressure they could exert what works there buddy uh, when it when it comes to race relations why do we have so many problems even in this day and time and, and where do we go with race relations to uh, bring about a reconciliation I, I, I think everybody needs to work together mm. and uh, recognizing that there are differences is the first step. Uh, Mr. Sterling came from a long time ago. He's, he, he didn't come from, I say, people like us, you know, that have, have been in the community for a long time. I, he was he was That's insulated. stereotypical. Uh, well, he's, but, probably, he's probably got <laughs> black friends, too, but, you know. But. But, and, and I didn't understand why they didn't <clears throat> jump on him for having a mistress and giving her millions of dollars. They just who is passed half, right who over. Who is half black, by the he way. Just, he just yeah, passed right was, over that. I was and, still and, scratching and my head on stuck on, on his one. words. Oh, it was terrible. Why, why is it so confusing? In the, in the, when, when you look at the Clive and Bundy scenario, many folks rallied to his cause in the, in the, in the idea that they, they felt like he was... Uh, mishandled by the federal government. Now a lot of those people are backing away. We, we need to love each other, okay, and not understand that we're all just part of the human race. This business of race we created for ourselves is, is a divisive issue, and it's really kind of silly because under the skin we're all the same. Talk you know? Donald I, Sterling I, I, to I, me. I will say this about Donald Sterling. There are about two hundred million cowboy fans out there right now that are praying Jerry Jones does the exact same thing, but. You know, past that, I'm trying. I'm trying to get You've my head. On Facebook. Right. <laughs> mechanism yeah, actually, you see that little app. Yeah. I like. That was my first thought about it too. I'm like, how come he can't say nothing like that? But anyway, you know, past that, I mean, it does set a dangerous precedent. So we can, you know, he's put a lot of money in this, and we can simply revoke that simply over his anger. Well, he's comments. not. He's not going to get burned. He's going to get a nice yeah, payday he, out of it. Yeah, he's going to lose money on the deal. I'll tell you right now. But you know, it, it is what it is. He's got licensing issues. I just, I am a little bit worried about how much further down that road we can go with before it becomes a problem, okay? Past that, the guy said what he said, and he's an idiot, okay? Past that, you know, you talk about Clive, you know, in Nevada, uh -huh. uh, also, et cetera. I can't use the idiot word too many times in a row, but, you know, there's a lot of things being said up there that, you know, just frankly don't make sense. If you're a rich, influential person, Romney, for instance, 
You need to watch what you say because you can assume there's a microphone everywhere. He's still back on Mitt Romney. He's not well, the nominee. Where Romney come from Romney in all this? Romney got sandbagged by a waiter at an event that he hosted. I'm sure he wouldn't have wanted that video to come out. The microphone is always open. The microphone is always open. Yeah, tell that to the president. He's been caught saying a few things that he shouldn't be off camera as well, especially at fundraisers. Are so. you trying to implicate the president with making remarks that he could be more flexible with the Russian leader in the uh, Actually, no, I was actually referring to the comments to he makes about Southerners. Only yeah, a but, year you know, prior to the, the Russian expansion in eastern Ukraine. Is that what you're trying to implicate, sir? No, I'm, I'm actually talking about the his off-camera comments when he <laughs> makes comments about <laughs> conservatives and about uh, Southerners in the general. Southerners and, and the know, conservatives do a pretty good job of sandbagging themselves. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying it's not really good form of leadership to actually, you know, be doing that sort of thing because it does divide the country. I just don't those, think it's good Those leadership. folks just cling to God and guns. I, I'm as, telling uh, you, and I, I and like my God, I like police. my gun. If you and, got you folks know, throwing rocks at you all day long, it's not fair to take a shot back once in a while. When you're your president, I mean, that is what it is. Uh, that's that's, what, he has, that's what he has the rest of the Democratic Party for, which mm -hmm. you do a good job of that. I'm proud of you. 15 seconds. We're going to come back and talk about the Benghazi attack. New reports emerging right now that seem to show a direct link, an email link between the White House and this Benghazi situation. Potentially a cover-up in the view of some. When Southeast Texas Weekly continues.